Hi friends, it's Shay. From Monday to Friday this week, I will be attempting, keyword attempting, to wake up at 6 a.m. and completing a new morning routine with just a bunch of things that I know make me feel good. Thank you to Easy Habit Tracker for sponsoring this video. We are starting the week off like any other week with Monday. I feel like 6 a.m. is such a buzzword on YouTube and I just wanted to challenge myself to see if it's even possible to wake up that early and have a productive day. So here's me attempting to do a seven minute workout. I decided not to jump around because it's literally 6 a.m. and we don't have the energy for that. This is my favorite breakfast toast. I really do wish I wasn't allergic to avocados because avocado toast looks so good. But for this, you just need toast, an egg, and some sriracha. I just fry the egg and put some pepper on it and I just assemble it on my beautiful white plate. We're going to see how I feel after the end of Friday because I feel like I haven't challenged myself in a while. This is just cold brew with condensed milk and regular milk. And here's my TikTok transition. I'm just making my bed. And then moving on to journaling. doing some affirmation I found on YouTube. And the Stoic app. Okay, so I finished everything on my morning routine except for planning. Basically uses the Pomodoro method to plan and especially because I said no no screen time for social media. So I think using my digital planner might like make me want to go on social media more in the morning. This morning when I saw the clock and it was like 6 a.m. I'm like, oh, I just want to wake up at like eight, but I'm glad that I made myself wake up and actually start my routine at six. I think like after eating breakfast, I was totally fine and awake. Hopefully the rest of the week goes smoothly. Um, the editing me will know how this week went. So if you like the interface of the app that I've been showing you throughout this video, I would highly recommend using Easy Habit Tracker. So it lets you create new habits and also track them all in one app. And you know that I do really love productivity apps. And there are a few key features that I really like about this app. And the first is obviously the aesthetics and the interface. I never suggest you use apps that are ugly. Like when do I ever use apps that are ugly? Like probably never. This app has a very simple design and a great user experience. So when you first go into the app, all of your habits are all right at the beginning and all you have to do is click on the check marks. And I really love that each app has these little emoji icons so it's really easy to identify between different habits that you're tracking especially if you track more than one at a time. So to make a new habit, it's very easy. Just click on the plus button, type in your habit name, assign the days that you want to keep this habit up for, um, put in reminders, add an emoji, change the color, and also you have a feature to bundle the habit. So the idea of bundling a habit actually comes from James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, which is well-known in the productivity community, but this is the idea that if you want to start a new habit, you can bundle it with something that you already do to make it easier for you to actually do those new habits. So for example, if you want to make a habit of having more movement in the day, let's say to do some yoga, you could bundle it with your evening entertainment, like watching Netflix. So you could do yoga while you watch Netflix. 
And obviously from the beginning of this video, you saw that I was doing a bunch of new things for my morning routine. But if you wanna start new habits and you have no idea what habits that you want to do and you don't know where to start, I think this app is great because it comes with presets like for morning routines, um, productivity, health, and many more. So I mentioned that this app is so simple at the beginning and if you go into the progress section, you could see a little progress bar and I find it really rewarding when I'm tracking a habit to be able to see the bigger picture and I think that gives me motivation to just keep going to not lose the streak. So this app is available for free on the App Store, but if you want the premium version, which gives you access to unlimited habits um, and other features, there's an option to just pay a one-time fee to have the app forever. Um, there's also a monthly and a yearly subscription. I'll put the link to the app in the description below so you can check it out. Again, it's free download if you want to start using it. Good morning. It's day two of the 6 a.m. challenge. I just want to go back to bed. I got very little sleep. I think it really helps to drink water in the morning because I like caffeine so much and it's a diuretic, which means it makes me dehydrated. So I'm just having the same breakfast and for my coffee, I made myself an iced mocha and you can check out my home cafe video for the recipe. I wonder how the rest of the week will go because I don't really hate waking up at 6 a.m. right now. I realized that I look so mad in the morning <laughs> and I'm honestly cringing while I'm editing this video, so. So we're getting to the last part of my morning routine, which is to plan for my day. And I have a few things that I didn't get done at like the bottom parts here. So I'm going to migrate those tasks and plan the rest of the day. So for a mini reflection of today, I feel like I'm pretty tired from the lack of sleep, but I do feel much better after doing the morning routine um, and I'm pretty excited to get on with the day. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. It's 6.07 and I snoozed for five minutes because I definitely did not get enough sleep. I don't know why, but it's been really hard to sleep. I'm like super, super hungry, so I couldn't sleep in any longer. I feel like because it's kind of my off day, I don't have any classes or anything today. My body is like probably just trying to rest or something, but yeah, I guess we'll start the day. I think I'm just gonna do some yoga because I think I'm like way too hungry to be exercising. I found and did a random yoga video from YouTube and got myself to the kitchen. I saw that my avocado plant is dying. I need to put it into a plant, but I gave her some water.
and I ended up doing the stoic up and affirmation during breakfast. Okay, so all I have left is all I have left is to just plan my day, which I don't even need to do because yesterday editing took so long because my computer was being weird. Like a thing that would have just taken me like an hour or like two hours to edit ended up taking like the whole day because everything was like freezing and everything. So um, I think my to-do list is to just finish off everything from yesterday and then um, I'm gonna take the rest of the day off because I don't have any classes. So I feel like today was not very fun for me to do my morning routine. I was just like so hungry and then I didn't get enough sleep. So I'm not feeling that great. Hopefully this will let me just sleep earlier tonight. So tomorrow I'll feel better. So I'm having the exact same thing again. And even my coffee is just cold beer and a teaspoon of condensed milk. Good morning. So it's the last day of the 6 a.m. challenge or whatever. Let's just finish it. Let's finish it. I am having a bagel instead of toast on Friday. And instead of coffee, I just had tea. So for breakfast, I'm having the exact same thing. Okay, so my outfit is pretty funny. I have a presentation this morning, so I'm just wearing like, you know, a dress shirt and then sweatpants underneath. <laughs> I don't know, like no one's gonna see my pants, so I think it's okay. And I don't feel like putting um, makeup on today. I'm just gonna put some jewelry on. It's kind of hard to do anything with nails on. And I'm just gonna do all the stuff I need to do on my phone. Okay, so the last thing is just planning. I guess that concludes my 6 a.m. challenge for this week. Um, my overall thoughts. First of all, it's very hard waking up at 6 a.m. when you didn't get enough sleep and I think most of the week I actually did not get enough sleep. I'm probably gonna move towards doing a 6 a.m. morning routine because it's so nice having more time in the day, especially because it's the summer now so the sun comes up a lot earlier so I have more daytime and I feel like I get tired after lunch so morning time is a great time for me to work. For me, anything earlier than 6 is like unheard of and I think 6 a.m. is like so early in my opinion but I guess we all have like I guess early is like subjective for everyone so let me know in the comments what time you wake up in the day. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through my 6 a.m. morning routine challenge. Again I wanted to mention that I'll put the link to the easy habit tracker app in the description. Thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video and I hope you have a sunny day.